So as fiddle players and violinists, it's not uncommon to find ourselves in a situation where we are accompanying a singer. And so it's good to keep a few things in mind when doing so, so that we can really enhance the singer and really make the most of the performance situation. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm gonna to be giving you four tips for playing with a singer. As always, if you enjoy this video and find it to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. It really helps my videos out with the algorithm. And if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project, go ahead and click that red subscribe button below to join our little fiddle community here. I post videos like this along with technique videos and fiddle tutorials each week. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. My first tip is to know the songs that you'll be playing ahead of time if possible. If you're going into a performance situation, it's likely that you'll have rehearsals ahead of time, so it's good to be able to at least be a little bit familiar with the songs in that case. If you're going into a more casual setting, try to find out what the song or songs that you'll be playing are, and that way you'll be able to listen to them ahead of time and just kind of have a better understanding of what you're getting yourself into. My second tip is to pay attention to how the singer sings. Do they have a softer voice? Do they have a louder voice? Do they tend to sing a little bit lower or higher? It's good to know generally how they sing so that you can best accompany them. For example, you wouldn't want to play overly loud if you are accompanying a singer who sings on the quieter side or if the song is a little bit softer. So you definitely want to feel that out in the situation. Just listen to how they sing, listen to their style, and see if you can really match that with your own playing. My third tip for playing with a singer is to find out how you can best complement what they're doing. And this is one of those situations where it's really crucial to make sure that you are listening as you're playing so that you can know best what to do that will ultimately really complement and enhance what the singer is doing. Depending on the song, one thing I like to do in these types of situations is to just play long sustained drones in the key, of course. So you wanna pay attention to the key and make sure that you're playing the right notes and everything, but just holding out a single note or a double stop even. Making sure that you're matching the timing of the singer can be a really nice way to enhance the song without doing too much. Going along with this tip, another technique you can use is echoing. And this just means to sort of echo what the singer has sung when they've reached the end of a phrase or a verse or a chorus. And during that brief pause in between sections, just playing a few notes to echo the melody. And this just continues to complement what the singer is singing. Sometimes you'll hear this technique referred to as fills. And my fourth and final tip for accompanying a singer is to make sure that you are supporting them not overpowering them. When playing with the singer, you always wanna be sure to be slightly under them volume-wise instead of right at their same level or louder than them. And this just helps to enhance the song and make sure that you are supporting their voice rather than competing with their voice. And it's easy to do because the violin is generally in the same range as the human voice. So it's easy to kind of make it sound as though the two are competing with each other, but it's your job as a fiddle player or a violinist to make sure that you're not stepping on what the singer is doing, that you're instead just simply supporting them. So in addition to volume, we also wanna think about not playing too many notes while they're singing. And again, going back to what I mentioned about drones, those can be really useful when the singer is actually singing a line instead of playing several notes or even playing the exact melody that the singer is singing and instead saving those busier or more complicated licks for when the song reaches a break or when you have the chance to solo. Well, those are just a few tips for playing with the singer. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And let me know down below if you will be playing with the singer anytime soon. If you plan to use these tips, if you're gonna be performing or going to a jam session or something like that, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy practicing. 
If you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed the video, so why not check out this one next? Also, if you'd like exclusive content from the Tune Project and a more personalized experience, head over to Patreon and join our wonderful little fiddle community. Your support helps me to continue to grow as a creator and ensures that I'm able to continue to provide free educational content here on YouTube. Thank you!